Okay, that's starting to look like something. Not like a laser though. We'll see about that. All right, welcome back. This is about three months further now, and it's really starting to get somewhere. Now, as you can see, I've got the frame basically completely built, and you can actually open the lid here and open some material loading gates. As you can see on here, on here as well. And yeah, nothing else has pretty much happened. You can see the electronics uh, down there. And yeah, in the next few scenes, we're going to go over um, the mechanics of the laser cutter. You can see the startings here. Um, yeah, for you, it's going to be a few seconds. For me, it's going to be weeks. Right, now as you can see, most of the frame is built uh, with these profiles here, with these aluminium profiles and these kind of corner brackets. And that's not the most uh, mechanically stable thing in the world, but it makes sure that I can deassemble this whole thing if I need to. Um, that's a great thing. And other than that, I've got these slots all over the machine. And I basically can fasten anything to these slots. As you can see here, I'm making use of this right here. Uh, so that's a great thing about these aluminum profiles. Another good example of this is um, this hinge here. Because of the way this is made, it's not really a big deal whether I put the hinge here or here or here. Basically, you can decide or change it later on if I need to. Okay, so another thing we're going to do in this episode on building the frame is the mechanics of a table. So I think you've seen this uh, in the last kind of mini episode. And well, we're just going to repeat that four times. And then we can actually mount the table. Nice. Alright, so for mounting the table, which has like these uh, beams across it, I made these brackets and sprayed them with you know, just some black paint. Looks a little nicer. I didn't do a perfect job as you can see here, but it's gonna be very uh, hard to see anyways. So we just can screw this on here and then just mount it on here. One, two, three, four. Okay, nice. I've got the table done. It's, you know, you can definitely lift it per hand, but as you can see, it's really, or as you can hear, maybe, it's not really, uh, these rods aren't really parallel, so it's not running great. So what I need to do is basically to find a way to make these rods parallel to each other. And I'm just going to do that by uh, loosening these screws here. Can you see them? Yes, you can see them. And um, yeah, when I pull this up, it's just gonna pull uh, the, the rods into place. Okay, so maybe I should explain what I just did there. Um, so I built this little, or set up this little analogy. If you imagine this is the um, anchoring point where the rods are fixed and these are the other precision rods and this is basically one beam of the table which can actually move and now as you 
probably can see these definitely are not parallel. Now this is uh, about 50 centimeters and this is about 60. And if we want to have them parallel we can just draw this. It's going to be not so smooth because it's not precision stuff here. But if you uh, push this along here this will, well, like this this will actually make them parallel. Well, just to test that, now it's 50 here and 50 here. And this is pretty much exactly what is happening in the, or has happened in the laser. Um, of course, it's not going to be like 10 centimeters of difference. It's going to be maybe more like a millimeter or two. But this is definitely a great way and a quick way to make rods like this parallel. And now we could just fix these into place and they would be parallel forever. All right, so now that we have this thing fixed, we must find a way to fix these nuts onto the table. And, well, I think I'm just going to show you the way I came up with. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this is using these two parts. There's a 3D printed part, and this is just a sheet metal. And you may be thinking, well, why didn't you just glue it? That's true, I could definitely glue it and it would definitely work, but I want to be able to actually uh, completely disassemble the whole thing, so I want to avoid gluing, uh, gluing at all costs. All right, so you can just put the nuts into this 3D printed part and then you know, use a screw to uh, close this off. Just like this. Yeah. Right, yeah, the 3D prints aren't perfect. But as you can see, this is now clamped into place and that's not going anywhere. Right, and then we can use this assembly here, screw it onto this bracket, you know, just using some socket head screws. And then we can just, well, screw this onto the table. All right, let's see how that looks on the laser cutter. All right, so there it is installed. As you can see, I maybe tighten up this nut a little too much, but that shouldn't be a problem. And as you can see, that turns really effortlessly. And, well, if you want to, we can disassemble this later on. So I think this is the way to go. Now we'll have to do that for all of the four uh, sides of the table, basically. All right, we've got all the lifting assemblies done here, and they are connected by this belt. As you can see, it's pretty loose, so we will have to do something about that. So for mounting the uh, stepper motor for the table lifting mechanism, I made this little bracket here. And, whoops, I forgot a spot here. But um, this should work just fine. Okay, so this is the kind of belt tensioning system that I came up with. You can just swivel that in here, fasten the whole thing, and the belt will run over this bearing here. Okay, so the belt tensioning mechanism basically is functioning. As you can see, we can rise and lower the table using this. Nice. All right, so this is the second episode of the laser belt done. Just a quick uh, recap. We've got this kind of main uh, chassis here and we've got the table mounted in here and some parallel mechanics so that the table can be lifted and lowered using the motor back there. Now for the third laser episode we're going to mount the linear rails on here and the kind of XY mechanic so that we can mount the optics on there. And this might take a while, I'm not sure how long the linear rails will take to arrive. I'm not sure, I think I ordered them about a month ago.
that, you know, the whole corona situation might actually um, influence the delivery time. So I'm not sure when this will arrive, but um, yeah, see you next time.